Hey guys, welcome to station one of station of the cross. Um, station one is Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Um, that's where we begin our journey. And the Bible reading for this station is Mark 14, verse 32 to 42. And I'll put the verses in the description. Um, but before we begin, I want to give a little bit of context about where we are. So, Jesus and his disciples have just celebrated the Passover meal. According to the Holy Week calendar, it's Thursday night. Um, and at the Passover meal is where Jesus washes his disciples' feet and gives them the new command to love others the way he loved them. But they're still a little bit confused because they don't they don't know what's coming next, even though Jesus has said he's going to suffer and die. But we don't we don't like hearing that and I don't think the the disciples liked hearing that. So it kinda goes over their heads, you know. So after the Last Supper, Jesus takes his disciples to this garden. And this is where we see Jesus at his most human as he wrestles with God. Um, and and this is very striking to see that Jesus is afraid and he's not happy about what's coming. Um, when, when he enters the garden, he, he tells Peter and James and John, and John that he was deeply distressed and overwhelmed with sorrow. That means he was sad, very sad. And that means that it's okay for us to be sad when we have hard times. So after that, um, Jesus, he, he, he goes a little bit away and he prays to God and he says, Abba, Father, take this cup from me. So again, Jesus does not want to suffer, but he also prays, yeah, not what I will, but what you will. And that's a very hard prayer to pray. When I, when I, when I am upset and, and, and afraid, I pray, God, let this pass by. But it's a lot harder to also add, but not my will, but your will. So then Jesus goes back to his disciples and he finds them asleep. And he's like, guys, what's happening here? Uh, can't, can't you stay awake with me? And 
he does this a couple times. Um, and each time, there's his eyeballs are asleep. And he tells them something that I think is very good for us. Remember, he, he says, the spirit is warm, but the flesh is weak. Now, when, 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 when Jesus says the flesh is weak, I don't think he's scolding the disciples. He's being honest with them. Jesus knows we want, we, we want to obey him. But he also knows that our body is weak. You know, I, I want to wake up every morning at 5 a.m. But my flesh is weak. I, I want to face trials and suffering with patience. But my body is weak. And, 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 and Jesus knows this. And, and he, he still decides to drink the cup of suffering for us. So what is the lesson here? I think it means that Jesus is our strength. Whoops, windy day. Jesus is our strength on a week. It means it's okay to feel sad, afraid, and only because Jesus felt those things too. It means when we are experiencing our own Garden of Gethsemane and we're praying for God to take away whatever we don't want to deal with, is that Jesus is with us, keep a watch with us. And, and even though Jesus, and, and even though we might have to still drink that cup, Jesus is by our side, holding us, and he, and he says that I will drink the cup with you. So again, so again, we have a God who doesn't promise that we will never suffer. We have a God who promises to get down with us and drink that cup of suffering with us. So that's what we have in station one. And to close, I want to give us a question to think about today. And the question is, what cup of suffering do you wish God will take away from you? And how can you remember that Jesus is in suffering with you, even if God doesn't take it away. So let's all think about that today. And we'll be back tomorrow for the station tube.